So today we've got 10 reasons why you need Yves Saint Laurent Y Le Parfum in your collection. I almost said Eau de Parfum because I've said Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum many, many times. It's a great fragrance. I've talked about it a couple times here on the channel. And so when Le Parfum, or just the Parfum, I suppose, came out, I was very excited. You know, when you see the bottle, it looks fantastic, all blacked out, looks very classy. When you see that the note breakdown is not necessarily completely different than the EDP and that sort of thing, you know, you really kind of get intrigued. You're like, okay, what else could they have done to improve upon this DNA? And well, we're going to be touching on all that stuff today. So if you're on the fence about this one and you've been looking for a reason to maybe go ahead and justify it, this video is for you. I know I'm a bad influence. I'm sorry. Let's get it. First reason why you need this one is on my skin, it is stronger and richer than the Eau de Parfum. And by the way, this is both on my skin as I've been wearing it, and I even find the same to be on like a paper tester strip. I like to test fragrances with both in mind because a lot of people who maybe go into a department store, they'll spray it on paper um, instead of on their skin to test it. So I like to see both sides of it. And yeah, on paper and on skin, I find there to be a little bit more of a richness, like I mentioned. and. I hesitate to say this, but I'm going to anyway, and I'll elaborate, almost more of a sweetness. However, not sweet like the bubblegummy sweetness like you get in the EDP. Uh, it does have that, but the sweetness that I'm talking about here is more or less a creaminess, a little bit more of a, a creamy sweetness, a dense kind of a backbone behind this one, making it overall just a bit more interesting. So if you're looking for that sort of thing, if maybe the EDT was way too playful and fresh, the EDP was getting somewhere but still not for you, check out the Parfum, it's awesome. Second reason why you need Y Le Parfum in your collection is it's extremely versatile if not more versatile than the Eau de Parfum. So again, let me explain. The Eau de Parfum is a very versatile scent, always has been, always will be. Still something you can wear for just about anything. However, I find the limitations with that one are in a situation where you're maybe a bit more dressed up, okay? Uh, so in that instance, maybe that one would still be a bit too playful in that type of way, and so you would maybe want to choose something else. However, I find that with the Parfum here, it's tweaked in just enough of a way that it's actually kind of suitable for a bit more of a dressed up, classy situation. I really find that to be the case. Now, would this be as good as like a Blue de Chanel for formal situations or name any other formal fragrance? Probably not, but I think this could get you by. So if you're someone who is looking to just own a handful of fragrances. You don't want to have a, a massive collection and spend just an absurd amount of money, which let's be real, most people don't want to do that. Then this one here would be a good option because you're going to have all of your bases covered from casual to playful, all the way up to more formal situations and everything else in between. Reason three why you need this one in your collection. It has to be said, so we'll run through it quick. It's a mass pleaser. Okay, it's a great compliment getter. The Eau de Parfum, same thing there, and it carries over into this one. So just because it is a bit more rich and maybe a tiny bit more mature, it doesn't mean that it loses that mass appeal. It is still very much there, and trust me when I say, you will be happy with the things that this does for you. Reason number four why you may consider having this one in your collection is the performance is excellent. And again, that's the same with the Eau de Parfum as well. Uh, to me, that's one of the main reasons why the Eau de Parfum rose to the top is because, well, a lot of things combined, but the performance definitely helped that. And so you would imagine being that this is a Parfum concentration that it would perform really good, and it does. So what I find here with this one is that the projection is actually cut back a little bit. So for some people, that's big red flags because they want, you know, maximum ultimate projection. And for other people, that may be good. Maybe you don't want to have a fragrance that is super loud. Maybe that makes you uncomfortable. Maybe you don't want to draw that much attention for yourself. Everyone has their preferences here. So if that is you, where you want something that isn't quite as loud, the Parfum will be your option that you would want to check out. However, if you want something that is going to assault people from uh, several feet away, the EDP would be the better choice there. And I've said this before, but for me, what I look for in a fragrance is something with good longevity, which this one has, and that's around 
nine plus hours. And also something that doesn't have a whole lot of distance in terms of its projection, but more so leaves a nice trail. And that's what this one does. It doesn't push far, but when you walk through a room, it leaves a trail and that trail sticks around for a long, long time. Reason number five why you may consider this one in your collection is it has a mixture of fresh and sweet. So this is one of my favorite things about fragrances like this is that they're able to capture a couple different sides of perfumery here. When you typically hear a men's fragrance described, <laughs> it'll always either be, oh, it's fresh or it's sweet. Okay, obviously people like us will dive deeper and we'll look at what's making it fresh or what's making it sweet and we'll elaborate on that. But for people outside of the community, just the average consumers, they'll be like, oh, it smells super fresh. It's fresh. It smells great. It's fresh, man. They're talking to their buddy. You need to buy this fragrance. It's fresh, right? That's, that's the only two words that they use, fresh and sweet. And so when you have a fragrance that combines the both of them, the best of both worlds, some people like freshies on men, some people like sweet fragrances on men. When you combine them, magic happens. Sixth reason why you may consider why Parfum in your collection is all around to me, it is the most mature out of all of them. So this is um, compared to the Eau de Toilette, the Eau de Parfum, Live, and the Fresh version. Out of all of those, I think this one has the most maturity to it. And so again, for people who are maybe a bit older, for people who want to come across as more professional in a workplace setting, that sort of thing, you want to make the best possible impression and you don't want to smell immature. You don't want to maybe come across like you'll, you're naive and will be a pushover. You want a fragrance that's still kind of dominating. Then I think Parfum out of everything else would be the one to go for. Now again, putting this up against other fragrances on the market, there will be fragrances that will be more, I guess, um, you know, forward, commanding, confident, uh, that sort of thing. You know, just kind of a stronger, more masculine fragrance overall, typically woody or spicier fragrances, that would accomplish that better. But comparing this to the rest of the line, it is by far the most mature. And for a lot of you, that's might be what you're after. Seventh reason why you may consider this one in your collection is the quality is high and ultra smooth. So you would expect that from the brand of East Saint Laurent. They create some amazing fragrances. I mean, they've created some of the best fragrances for men, in my personal opinion, on the market and they work with some of the best perfumers. I would imagine they're using some of the best ingredients that they can get their hands on. And at the end of the day, these are not cheap. Even at discounters, they still aren't discounted all that much off of retail. And so with E Saint Laurent, with this line, this is one of the lines where I say, if you want it, just buy it at retail. I will link it down below. I bought it at retail. I buy basically everything at retail because I review it when it first comes out, unless you know it's an older fragrance that I can get on discounters. But this is one where as soon as it hits discounters, the price is still gonna be high. In some instances, higher than retail. Believe it or not, that does happen. And then it's a waiting game of, okay, now it hit discounters, but now we have to wait for the discounted price on the website to start to come down as they get more of it, whatever. So it, it, it can be a long process to save maybe $20 off a retail price. That's gonna be up to you. So the, the moral of the story behind all of this as I went off track is that they're not cheap fragrances, and so you would expect a high quality product, and in my opinion, you get it with this. Eighth reason why you may consider this one in your collection is it's stunning in warm weather, but also in cool weather. So this is another thing here where it works great all year round. Doesn't matter what the temperature is outside. If you're wearing, uh, you know, a denim jacket and uh, uh, a sweater underneath, like I am, a little bit chilly out, it's gonna work great. It's gonna smell fantastic in the cold weather. Alternatively, if you're wearing a t-shirt and shorts in July, this one will still smell great. Now, to some, at that point, it may sweeten up a bit too much for you. So that's another personal preference thing. I've said this before many times as well, but why Eau de Parfum is a fragrance that I like to wear in summertime, even though it does get much more sweet and you know projects a lot more. Not everyone's gonna be into that, but I kind of like that. You know, it's a little bit different. You know, normally I stick to the traditional super citrusy, super aquatic fragrances for summer and that's it. But as I've continued to go through this hobby and I've experimented, I like to wear something with a tiny bit of sweetness in the summertime and to me it just kind of is a way to change it up. And that's what you can do here as well. The ninth reason why you may consider this one is it works for all ages. Simply put, it doesn't matter how old you are, if you personally like how it smells, you can wear it. I mean, this type of thing is great because 
beauty is in the eye of the beholder, essentially. If you smell this fragrance and you think it smells great and it makes you feel good when you can when you wear it, then wear it and it's gonna be great for you. And 10th reason why you may consider why Le Parfum in your collection is to me, it's the most polished out of the entire lineup. So it kind of makes you wonder at this point, what comes next? You know, are they going to uh, put out some limited editions? Are they going to put out like summer editions? Because uh, I mean, if, if you look at the Lanoui de Lome line and the Lome line, they have tons and tons of flankers, more than just four total, like with the Y lineup. So what's next? We don't really know. But as it sits right now, I think this is the most polished. I think this is all around the most well-rounded and to me it comes across as the most well thought out. I just love it, man. It, I didn't think the Eau de Parfum could have gotten much better until I got my nose on the Parfum. I'm sold. All right, you guys, there you have it. That is 10 reasons why you need Wide Lake Parfum in your collection. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoy this fragrance if you decide to pick it up. I will link it down below. If you have tried it, let me know what you think of it. And if you haven't, are you going to? So the links for all of this will be down below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.